The birds are singing. The plants are photosynthesizing. My neighbor is mowing her lawn. I gotta hurry. I have science to do. Boing. You know, if you know what to look for, there's science on display all around us. Even here in the bathroom sink. Have you ever noticed that when water goes down the drain, it forms a bit of a spiral? So this spiral is actually called a vortex, and it's the same phenomena that occurs in tornadoes and in turbulence when an airplane flies through rough air. But is there a way that we can take this phenomenon and do something really cool? Let's go find out. This is a vortex generator. Its whole job is to make a thing called a vortex ring, also known as a toroidal vortex. Now, vortex rings are pretty cool and can be used to make some really cool effects. And that's because they can stay stable in the air for a very long time. But how do they do that? First, a vortex ring forms from a combination of friction and Bernoulli's principle, which says that air pressure and velocity are related mm -hmm. by a constant. High velocity, low pressure air is forced out of the vortex generator. When the air leaves the generator, friction at the sides causes a shear force, which causes the air to begin to rotate. This rotation is enhanced by the low pressure air behind the vortex ring getting sucked through the center of the ring by the high pressure, slow moving air ahead of it. Once a vortex ring forms, it can stay stable or coherent for a long distance because of something called angular momentum. The rotating ring wants to keep spinning, and so it maintains its angular momentum for a long time. Since the vortex ring is in open air, it can only lose momentum through friction to the air around it. Because of this, vortex rings can remain stable and shoot all the way across a room or further. Now if you add a bit of stage fog to the vortex generator, we can actually see the vortex ring form. Now let's pop back inside to figure out what's going on. When the air is pushed out of the box, it carries the smoke with it. When this happens, the air hits the edge of the box, creating friction that sets up a shear force and causes the air to begin to rotate. That rotation produces angular momentum, which keeps the ring stable as it moves forward. Linear momentum pushes that ring forward and across the room. The best part about this experiment is that you can do it on your own at home. All you need is a box, some tape, and a pair of scissors. The first thing that you want to do mm -hmm. is mark out a hole that you're going to cut out in the side of your box. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Next, using your scissors, go ahead and cut out that hole. Put your box back together and using your tape, go ahead and seal everything up. And there you go, your own vortex shooter. To get it to work, just hit the side of the box, and remember to have some fun. And if you live in Benton County, Oregon, you can stop by the Corvallis Benton County Public Library and pick up your own mini vortex shooter to test out at home for free. Now, this is cool, but I think this video needs a little something extra. One of the cool things about science is taking an idea from nature or the world around us, like a vortex spinning in a sink, and through observation and study, turning it into something really cool and interesting. But what if we could take an idea like that and make it really big and extreme? Like, extremely extreme. This is the Oregon State University drumline.
And this is their Vortex Drum Corps. Take it away, guys. This is Lib Lab. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. AJ here. I'm at Mostly Engineered on the tweets and the Instagram and host of Lib Lab. LibLab is supported in part by contributions from viewers like you. We'd like to partner with you in the community to help develop a sustainable stream of funding to support this project and provide STEAM education to kids in the community. If you like what you see and you'd like to see more, please head over to Patreon where you can make a donation and pledge your support for the project. Or you can contact us directly here at the library and pledge your support the old-fashioned way. There's a link in the description with all the details that you need to donate and help support the project. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your support.